Huh. So, ran into a little bit of an issue here. I mean, first and foremost, that was a very interesting drive. We had the fog, we had the mudslide, but we made it. I have no clue what's going on. The lake is really high. It's almost flooded up into the parking lot. You have reached the Bureau of Reclamation at beautiful Lake Berryessa. For camping, press one. For concession, you have reached the Bureau of Reclamation at beautiful Lake Oh, boy. Freaking wind. It does not look like an easy launch right there. There goes nothing. It's somewhat protected. Oh, jeez. Put your picnic table underwater. Paddle out a little ways, maybe. Good times. The wind's gonna pick up. I'm going with a gut instinct right now, guys. I've never done this before, but um, we're not going out today. I just don't have a good feeling. It looks okay right now, but if it gets up any worse, we're in trouble. I'm alone today. The water is only 51 degrees. It's not worth it. Man, that is super disappointing. First time I've ever done that. It sucks. Got up this morning, drove up here an hour and a half, you know, had to load everything up, launched, got out in the water. And I just got this feeling, you know, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. Trust me, I wanted to fish today really, really bad. I really wanted to fish today, but I want to fish another day too. really 33 degrees out on March 1st. Oh boy, folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to shout out everyone who tuned into the premiere for the Orville tournament video. That was a pretty great time with the crew and definitely a little cherry on top when the entire group catches a limit and places in the top 21 for the first Yakabass event of the year. So again, thank you guys for tuning in for that premiere. Hopefully we can do more of those premieres for tournament videos, especially this year. But today, man, it's actually about nine days after that tournament video and I haven't been fishing at all. I feel like this has been the story of the 2023 so far is the California weather. It's been a little out of character. Earlier this year, even late into last year, we had tons of rain, tons of winter storms, which was great. Then they kind of died off, but right after that Orville tournament, man, they came right back and in a big way. Hail, snow in a lot of parts of Northern California that haven't seen snow in like 10, 15, 20 years in some places. You know, fishing wise, I'll just be honest, the fishing I haven't been able to go, not because of those reasons, but because of the wind. We've had some crazy wind accompanying those storms gusts up to 50 miles an hour and there's really nowhere that I can go within like a three hour radius to get away from the weather. Anyways, that said, that's why I haven't been out. Just playing the safety card a little bit more so. But today looks like the first break in the weather, first break in the storm. So I thought we'd get out there. We're going to Lake Berryessa. The sun is supposed to poke out today. Wind is questionable, but we're going to be fishing a protected area. All those things considered, it's March 1st in Northern California. It's time. I feel it's time when as soon as it hits March, I know there's a lot of people that go by the moon phase water temps, daylight, all that stuff. I don't know, for me personally, when I see March 1st on the calendar, that's when I feel like the fishing should really pick up, or at least a lot of those deeper fish, the winter fish should start moving up into their pre-spawn or maybe even pre-pre-spawn zones. So all that said, it is fishing, anything can happen. That's just kind of what I'm crossing my fingers for. There's only one way to find out, and that is to get out on the water, take a peek, see what they're doing. Haven't been to bury us in a while. I'm sure today will be an adventure. So stay tuned.
Okay, might as well just get started. Just launched. Nine o'clock, that drive took us a little bit longer than expected, which seems silly now that I think about it. The roads, especially going up through the mountains, those windy roads, man oh man, those were sketch. Icy, icy, icy. First time driving in ice in California for me, and whew, gonna be honest, lost control of the vehicle twice, only for about a second or two. But man, that'll wake you up quick and we played it safe after that for the most part. Drove super slow. Already puckering up before we get out on the water, and who even knows what'll happen today, especially with this wind. I think it's gonna be breezy. Post frontal, freezing temperature still. Sun's out at least. I think anything at this point, meaning a fish or a bite, would be a bonus. We'll see. Water was stupid low. So I made the cast. I didn't expect to get hung up in it. No way. Are you kidding me? See, I remember that dang tree. How am I gonna lose an A rig already? Five minutes in. Oh, maybe not. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. That would have been a bad start. It's already blowing pretty good. Funny thing is I, I knew the wind was gonna blow today. So I picked the most protected area, skinniest water I could find on this lake. And I'm not even sure if it's gonna matter too much. I can't even imagine what the main lake looks like right now. I'm sure it's just insane because it's coming from the north. And when that wind comes from the north, especially on this body of water or the south for that matter, that main lake just gets dangerous. Not just for a kayak, but I'm sure for any boat. TOC. We're not even on the main lake. Golly. And this lake runs mainly north to south, so there really isn't anywhere to get away from this wind. Check our forecast. Oh, great. The gusts are only going to get worse. <sighs> Alright, that's it. We're done. We're done. Not worth the risk.
Uh, can I do a double double animal style okay. and animal style fries? And that'll do it. Are you eating in your car today? Uh, to go, please. I have a double double animal style and an animal fry. Just 1093. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? It's like deja vu from what, three, four years ago as we put in the beginning of this video. Ironically, at the same place, Lake Berryessa, similar time of year, same thing happened, showed up, weather wasn't looking good. We even went fishing both times in about, I don't know, after an hour or so. Waved the white flag, called it quits, just too sketchy for my liking. And yeah, you know what, today we probably could have gone out there, battled the winds, fished in protected areas for the majority of the day, maybe even moved on, covered some new water, but it's only getting worse out there. And and uh, for me, personally, just wasn't worth it. Post-frontal anyway, so yeah, I mean, I'll just be honest, I gave up today. Packed up the stuff, went to In-N-Out Burger. Most of you guys know what that means. And today was pretty representative and worthy of an In-N-Out Burger stop. And you know, the other thing too, I just have to mention this, uh, and I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys comment, uh, you know, positive things, positive feedback on the videos that are like this, skunk videos. I mean, what, two, three videos ago at Clear Lake, we had a two-day skunker, had a lot of positive feedback, you know, just showing those those tough days and you guys know this I've, I've done it ever since what 10 years ago when we started posting on YouTube is all videos all fishing videos go on the channel no matter what happens I don't know I guess I'm just uh, I, I want to know everyone's opinion days like this is this video worthy I don't know I feel like I'm always on the fence probably more so in the past like year or so for whatever reason I guess maybe because we've had more tough days than typical in the years past but I feel like I'm, I'm just always on the fence about eh, maybe I shouldn't post these videos maybe Maybe these ones we can just, you know, put in the archives, maybe mention it in the next video, something like that. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. I still, you know, deep inside of me still wants to post every trip out no matter what, just because, again, all these trips, every every time I personally go out and post, it's really like a fishing log, a fishing journal. Days like this, they're part of the log still but I still wanna know everyone else's feedback, what you guys think about this, let me know in the comments below. But with all that said, it's like 12.30 right now, and we're gonna do two things. Two things, item A, we're gonna do a giveaway. Haven't done a giveaway in a long time, and I think today's a perfect day to do a giveaway. Uh, so guys, Abu Garcia, new Revo series spinning reels, really quality spinning reel, used one for Orville, catch majority of my fish that day in the tournament. So gonna be giving away one of those spinning reels to you guys, again, just for all giveaways, leave a comment below, any comment will do. In three days, three days exactly, I will pick randomly a winner, pin that comment, we'll get in touch, we'll confirm your identity, and I will ship this off to you and as always be careful of the consistently and I hate that they're consistent scammers on this channel and all channels for that matter they always do the same thing they comment to one of your comments they reply to you and they use the same profile picture as me and they have some bogus phone number is the actual name and then they say something like contact this number and we'll get in touch and you want a prize it's clearly not me for multiple reasons just be be careful of that don't get fooled so keep that in mind and last thing item two gonna add a little bit of flavor to this video so to speak you know, this is one of those videos where I might just say, yeah, well, it was a tough day, blah, 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 it's done. No, gonna add some actual fish catches, even though today was a technical skunk. What we're gonna do is post the top 20, not top 10, I was thinking top 10, but top 20 catches from Lake Berryessa. Yes, Lake Berryessa, that's the lake that we were just at and we left. But I wanna post these top 20 fish from that lake because I wanna show you evidence that there's good fish to be caught in there. There's good fishing. That's why I keep going back, because it's a phenomenal fishery. There's some giant fish in there. Past year and a half, two years, maybe with a drought, proven to be a little bit tougher, but but over the past five years that I've been able to fish it, we've had some really, really memorable catches there. And ironically, most of them were when the lake was a lot higher, a lot more full, you had a lot more of that cover in the water. And I guess the silver lining with all these storms, all this crazy weather, the cold weather, the wind, the ice, all this water coming into the systems, this lake should fill up pretty nice for spring and summer. And that's when a lot of these fish catches are from. 
So tough day today, but you gotta be reminded that there are better days to come. It's just a fact, the law of averages. And for me, playing it safe, not risking flipping the kayak or you know getting hurt, stuff like that is definitely going to outweigh trying to catch a fish or two. So that said, guys, I do appreciate you guys tuning in, watching. As mentioned, let me know what you guys think about content, posting these style videos, your thoughts. But coming up, top 20 catches from Lake Berryessa. I'm gonna go enjoy my in and out I may even crack a beer too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. That might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> He's digging. Oh yeah, there's a good one. That's not worthy. That's why I hate using my net on these big ones. Bunch of trebles. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a nice one. Long one. Alrighty. Give us a little dance too. Very <laughs> sucks right now. Is that what he said? Oh, what is that? Drought. That's a tank. I don't know. This is exactly how the other one was biting. I want to get, I hope it's a trout. I don't think it is. Oh, I got a double. No big deal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Rig. That's the third double up I've had in my life. I'm not complaining. It worked! It worked! It worked! Mike, it worked! Mike! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, that is my first swim bait fish ever. I've got to give a shout out to Mr. Alden Walden because he gave me this swim bait. That's a long one, man. That's like a 21. That's a belly shirt. First swim bait fish ever, first fish of the day, Lake Berryessa. Great fish. Oh, no. oh, it's way bigger than I thought. Oh, it's way bigger than I thought. Please stay on. Um, I didn't think it was that big. She cooperated. What a fish, guys. Was, what a bite. a way to start the morning. God, that's a powerful fish. I hate to say it, but that fish schooled me. That fish is stronger than I am. That's a nice fish. Look how long that tail is. It's gonna be a good tournament fish right there. It's a beat up fish. That's a good one right there. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Come on. Big fish at the tournament right there. Uh, 
Oh my God, it's a PB spot. Get in the net. Yes. That's a monster spot. Yep, PB spot. What a fish. Smashed it. That might be our fifth good one. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mr. Tyler Jackson. Today was my day. Today was my day. What a day it's been. Okay, the day is uh, evening out for sure. <laughs> That's a giant right there. Wow, what a fish, what a fish. Go away. Got her, dragging uphill. Another good one too. I might be a believer in this trout thing. Dude, that, oh my God. Man, it's, it's a hard argument right now. We're, we're making a pretty good argument for, uh, you know, the trout style baits being the big fish catchers. Guys, come on now. I mean, I don't know what to say. Four and a half, five pounder? Goodness gracious, I smashed it too. <laughs> that is probably one of the top three coolest things that has ever happened in my fishing career. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, big and big and stay down, stay down. him here. Oh, he's stronger than me. Finally got a berry as a big one. Whew. Oh yeah, that's a, probably five, maybe. All oh, right, finally, a nice fish. Thank you, girl. Oh my god, that's huge. That's a giant right there. That's a giant. That's a big one right there. Saying that's the biggest fish I've ever caught on a popper. Take a look at this beauty. That's not a bad fish at all. Beautiful fish. Right next. 
This is some deep waters, trees. I mean, oh, there we go. That's a good one. I bet you that's a large one. That's a piggy. That's a nut job. Oh my god, there's a giant with it. Oh my god, there was a f giant with it. <laughs> oh yeah, the slow mo release on this girl. Right at the boat. Oh, smoked it. It's a big one. Oh god. Oh my lord, that's a big one. chunk it's been a really fun day got a pretty nice bag right now <laughs> i see them below us there's there are a bunch of them cruising right below us there we go finally got one i told you it was a secret bait oh god yeah oh my god no it's it's like a six I'm glad it's practice. It's my tournament area now. Put it down, the tournament day, sir. Oh my gosh! That was a strike right there. That was a strike. We're netting this boy. We're netting this boy for sure. Come on. Yeah. All righty. That will get your heart racing. On the Chapo. That is a beautiful fish. Biggest fish ever for me on a plopper style bait. And he smoked. So cool. It feels like a better one, I think. Unless it's a pike minnow. Mike, I got an eight pounder. Yep. It's not an eight, it's like a six. You know how I over exaggerate. Oh God. It's a really long fish. How about that one, ladies and gents? God, did that really just happen? It did. Oh my God, that's a huge fish. Oh, Jesus. That is a huge fish right there. Post spawn. Okay, let's let her go. Free girl. 